What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the new Infamous game. Now, I don't even real, to be honest, I don't know how to really title this. I don't really know how to say it, so I'm going to try to keep things ambiguous, but while kind of saying what I, I, I want to say, basically, this comes from account NGT, all right? And this is after the Sly Cooper talk. So I made a video, uh, I believe, earlier this morning on this channel talking about what um, Special Nick, I believe, said about Sly. Now, account NGT responded to that and said hey he's heard similar things in fact uh, account ngt had said it kind of first that we would see sly probably in september for the 20th anniversary and then in a thread to the sly cooper comments from account ngt he also just dropped and this comes from a source he said that he, uh, it's his source the same source told me a few weeks ago that no big showcase was planned until september which coincides another time an announcement in september and that's all about sly cooper then he just drops this this source also thinks that infamous will be announced this year now if you haven't been paying attention that probably comes across as like w like what the f you know what are you talking about an infamous game this is the first time we've heard about it he has talked about it before infamous has been talked about before i guess in general you can go all the way back to the domain being renewed the infamous domain uh and i always i always go back to it because while the domain we, we've talked about domains before right in terms of like websites they don't have to mean anything but kill zone i believe Killzone Sony let expire. Killzone will redirect you, I think, to the PlayStation website. Killzone doesn't have its own website anymore. They let that basically die. Infamous, they didn't. Infamous, they renewed it. So there is still like an infamous.com. So, you know, domains don't have to mean anything. And there's plenty of times where domains don't mean anything. But for this example, I think renewing Infamous's domain does mean something. That's just my, you know, that's my personal opinion. And that happened, I think, July 2020. This was like almost two years ago. So you can go all the way back then. And then, you know, throughout the years, we've had talk. And I believe I looked at even in my own videos because I actually made a video a few months ago. Two months ago, we heard rumors of there is a new infamous game. That's all it is. New infamous game is like in development. Now, again, a reason why I don't really know how to title it or talk about it is because what does that mean? A new infamous game literally means a, an infamous game that's new, which could be a remaster. It could be a remake. I highly doubt it. I really think it would be a remaster or a new game, right? That's it. Some sort of, and I've talked about it a thousand times, there is no place where you can play all of the Infamous games in one spot. There's Infamous 1, 2, and Festival of Blood. That's one. Then you have Second Sun and First Light, and that actually, there are package deals of those two combined as well, but none of all of them. So it really makes sense to me to remaster all of, technically there's five games, Festival of Blood, First Light, they're technically DLCs, but let's just call them games. There isn't a spot where those all exist together. I think a remaster of all five and putting them together in some sort of like super infamous collection makes sense. And I think that could be the new infamous, and you could still call it new infamous game. So that's that's something that I guess, you know, up until this point, I I've talked about here and there, but I just want to kind of catch you up. And then again, we have this quote or this tweet from account NGT. So the same source that's been talking about a PlayStation showcase in September, which seems accurate. The same source that talks about Sly, which seems accurate, has also said that Infamous will be announced this year. Now, it's funny he dropped the word new. This source also thinks that Infamous will be announced this year. He doesn't say new Infamous, which is odd that you would drop that word, but I still, I think he meant to. He just probably forgot. Account NGT, I believe, sometimes watches my videos and he'll comment to me or he'll message me about them. So maybe maybe he's seeing this now and maybe he can correct himself, but uh, I'm not going to put any pressure on him. But no, I mean, I, I really think it's a... Well, well, actually, my opinion on it is like, wow, like because we've heard about it, but to, but to expect that we're going to get it this year or announced this year, right? That's a, I guess that's a big distinction. Uh, that's pretty cool because like you could go into next year getting, you know, some sort of remaster. Now, a couple house cleaning, housekeeping things before we before I let you guys go. I want to kind of make it clear again. Number one, I do think it's a remaster. I don't think it's a new like uh, infamous four. 
Uh, well, I want that. I, I think that we'll probably get a remaster first and then a new Infamous game. That's that's number one. Number two, I think it would be released really soon. So, like, 2023. Number three, this doesn't... For people worried about, like, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch doesn't even have to be doing it. Now, you know, you enter the same thing where it's like, well, you know, Sly obviously left Sucker Punch, and Sly really hasn't been the same since, and there's only actually been one game. Uh, you know, Infamous, Infamous was birthed there. You can see Infamous in Ghost of Tsushima. It's all over the place, right? It's heavily um, just... You know, you could just see it all over the place. So... You know, having Infamous leave maybe isn't for the best, but it doesn't mean it can't happen, and it doesn't mean it also can't be successful. Specifically in a remaster, I mean, you can literally get anybody. There's remaster, like, specialist studios that take games, they remaster them, and they combine them. And there's, there's studios that are literally just for that purpose. So I'm sure Sony, if they wanted to, could say, hey... We know you're working on Ghost of Tsushima 2, Sucker Punch. We know you're working on this other game. Maybe we don't want to announce it yet, right? Whatever. We're not going to bother you with this. We, well, we want Infamous back, but we're not going to bother you. So we'll have a remaster. from, And then you can do maybe a new Infamous game if you want, or somebody else can do it. Or they could be working on Ghost of Tsushima 2 and an Infamous remaster at the same time. And they could be working on Ghost of Tsushima 2, finishing it, and starting the new Infamous game, and then full scale on Infamous, and, and working on Ghost of Tsushima 3. Like, it's possible. I don't know why it's it's so, uh, you know, uh, like, people think, like, it's so I impossible that it could possibly happen. No, it, it can. You know, I mean, I don't know how many times I have to use that word in a sentence, but it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. So this this September showcase continues to kind of grow in what could potentially be, like, a Sly game, now an Infamous game, you know, well, we've heard actually rumors of other stuff before too, right? Like it could be gigantic and I'm all, I'm all there for it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. So you know, when all these videos go up, if you want to follow me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all on the next video.